Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to Ehang. We are going to talk about the truthfulness of Ehang 216 range being extended to 50 or 60 kilometers and new information on Ehang 216 production line and dispatch center to be built in Wuhan. The information is from 2020 China 5G Plus Industrial Internet Conference held in Wuhan on November 19th to 21st, 2020, which is about one year and two months ago. Ehang had participated in the conference with its Ehang 216 at the exhibition. By the way, the conference is important and China President Xi Jinping had specifically sent a congratulatory letter to the conference. Here is a related article reported the event. The article title is Xi Jinping sends a congratulatory letter to the 2020 China 5G Plus Industrial Internet Conference. There is a video available for Hianming, Director of Ehang China Operations being interviewed by Yangtze River Daily at the conference. The video will be presented at the end of this episode. The video contains some useful information. First, let's see some images extracted from the video. In this image, here the text says, Yangtze River Daily. Here, the text says, November 19th to 21st. 2020 China 5G Plus Industrial Internet Conference. Here, the yellow text says, Director of Ehang China Operations being, Hian Ming. Next, in this image, the text says, the aircraft can carry two persons. Can fly 50 kilometers on a single charge. Next, in this image, the first text line says. In the near future, production line and dispatch center will be built in Wuhan. The second text line says. In the future, global aircraft can be dispatched in Wuhan. Note, in previous episode, we have already reported that Ehang has built or has planned to build EH-216 production lines in some places including Yunfu, Hezhou, Hainan, Qingdao, Kunshan. And now, Wuhan may be added to the list. Next, back to the Ehang-216 range. As you may know, the official range published on Ehang's website is 35 kilometers. Now, about one years and two months ago at the conference, the statement from the director of Ehang China Operations indicates that the range can be 50 kilometers. The range stated in the text matches at in the voice by the speaker. Some people may question that there may be a speech error. But this is very unlikely. The range is one of the most important parameters of the aircraft. And the director is an insider and there is almost no chance for error. Therefore, the range of 50 kilometers is considered to be true. Also, about a few months, in an episode, we reported that EH-216 range has been extended to 50 or 60 kilometers. The information is from sales manager of Kuenxiang, which is Ehang's prominent partner and sells EH-216 aircraft on behalf of Ehang at a travel equipment conference held in Hainan. Again, the range is the most important parameter for the sales manager. It is almost impossible for him to state it wrong. Now, let's discuss why there is a mismatch between the official website range and the range stated by the insiders, or why Ehang does not update its website or officially announce the new range value. Why no official EH-216 range update? Here may be the possible explanation. The actual flight range is 50 to 60 kilometers by industry convention or the range defined by all other EVTOL companies. To compare with other EVTOL companies, the insider or the sales manager needs to use the actual flight range to do apple-to-apple -apple comparison. Otherwise, Ehang may be in a disadvantaged position. On the other hand, safety is the number one priority for Ehang. To achieve absolute safety, the design concept for EH-216 is full redundancy backup. All critical hardware components have backups. Besides hardware, the full redundancy backup may also need to include backup for critical non-hardware elements. Battery energy level is considered to be one of such critical non-hardware elements and needs to have the redundancy backup. Ehang may want to keep a high energy redundancy rate of 30%, 50%, or event 100%, depending on the battery technology progress. As such, Ehang may still use the existing extra conservative range of 35 kilometers for the official range to avoid the end user from abusing the range and reducing the energy redundancy backup level. As you can feel, Ehang tends to execute and keep a low profile with many technology and business activities and progresses unannounced to the public. The video for the Ehang director interview is presented next. Thanks for watching.
Please subscribe. 人称叫 A V 二幺六，它指的就是可以做两名用客户，然后一共有十六个 G B。呃，目前它是全球首台自动驾驶飞行器，然后而且我们已经在全球很多地方在运行了，包括在广州，呃，包括在海外的像韩国、奥地利，呃，我们都已经在去飞行了。啊，目前的话，这款产品可以做两名乘客，它的载重是二百二十公斤。呃，我正常飞行的话，可以在五十公里左右充一次电，电的，对，纯电的飞行。包括其实我每一个就是螺旋桨，它的那个呃供电都是独立的。呃，也就是说我们在飞行的时候，它人为的我断掉几个机，就是螺旋桨，它还是可以正常的飞行，因为它有一个动态平衡。它在空中可以自动识别，就是说我每一个桨叶的受力，这样子的话，我能在空中即使桨叶停了，我也可以保持平衡的这样去飞行。目前我们应用的场景就是，呃，类似像我这个景区的运营，然后呃，就是乘客可以坐在飞机上去观看整个景区在空中。另外就是我可以就是用于这个医疗救援。打比方，我们因为那个全球的调度中心是在广州。马上我们在武汉这边也会有我们的呃，就是生产线以及我们的这个调度中心会在武汉这边。